You gotta record me. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, man. You see, uh, hey, don't hate. You know what I'm saying? I, I know my team, but it's cold up here in Albany, Georgia. Anyway, we got the uh, Smoky Mountain Web out. We broke it out. We're going to put a brisket on. It's about 12, 12.30 in the morning. And uh, we're going to put this thing on and let it cook for about it. I think it's a 10, 10 and a half pound uh, brisket. So uh, we're going to let it cook. They, they average about an hour and a half per pound. So it may be about 14 to 15 hour cook. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, it's a little chilly up here. It's in there, what, about the 30s, 40s? Yeah, um, yeah, about 35 right now. Something like that. So I got the uh, smoke coming up to 10% at about 250 right now. We're gonna go in the house and bring the brisket out. We'll let you see what it look like. Uh, then cut this one up like I did the one for Thanksgiving. We got it whole, we're gonna cook it down and then uh, uh, when it's time to wrap it, you know, I might slice it up and then do the, uh, the uh, the chunks, um, but maybe not. I might just leave the thing whole. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. We got people coming over, so stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. B. We back. Look at this brisket, man. Father-in-law did an awesome job trimming it up. About to take it out and put it on this grill. We'll see you outside. All right, y'all. We back. Y'all taking a look at that awesome looking brisket right there. My temp's about 251, 252. I'm about to take this off and just stick him on there. Look at him. Now this is an 18 and a half, what is it, 18 and a half inch uh, Weber? So you see why uh, I highly recommend you get the uh, the 22 inch one. You see my temps then already went down probably because I took the top off. Uh, you put a cold piece of meat on there, it is might be room temperature, but it'll take a couple minutes to come back up to 250 and it'll sit here and just run all night, man. So I'm gonna check it about seven in the morning. Uh, just see if it's about 160, 165 degrees. I got some, uh, what was that, hickory chunks and some mesquite on there right now, chunks that we uh, had up in the uh, little storage room. So we're good to go. I'm gonna let it run, you see the smoke coming. Uh, we're gonna let it do what it do. Um, at 165, we're gonna wrap it. I'm still torn between wrapping in the butcher paper and the uh, aluminum foil, but uh, we're gonna play it by it depending on how cold it is out here. If it's too cold, just go on aluminum foil, but uh, if it's uh, bearable early in the morning, then we're just going to go to the butcher paper. So we'll see. Stay tuned, y'all. We're going to have ribs, a couple of ribs. We're going to have some uh, chicken thighs. And I got some beef tips, too. So stay tuned for that, y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. B. And it's that time. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's time to check. You can hear roosters crowing around here. Everything's crazy. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it's time to check the dog on grill. Let's see what this brisket look like. Damn. Let's try to get a look at that. Look how juicy that is. Uh, yeah. All right. So we got this little little cheapo, but it's gonna do the do the, do the job. So I'm sticking it right here in the dead center. I'm gonna see what my tent look like. We're gonna look at this together. I need it to be about 160, 165, man. Mm. Steady climbing. Anyway, you get the picture. We'll let that sit for a minute. And then uh, if it's time to wrap it, we'll go ahead and wrap it. And then I'm going to sit it on the bottom grate and let it do what it do, y'all. We'll be back, man. When it's time to slice this thing. Look at the flat and the point almost separating. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll be back, y'all. Hey, everybody. We back. Uh, just took the brisket off. It's wrapped up. 
Uh, typically, I don't do this. It's sitting right there. Uh, that got it in a little beef bra. Uh, triple wrap. What I call it. But I'm going to show y'all something with this uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. If you look closely on the inside, there's a can right there. It's a coffee can. I've had it for years. And the reason why it's there is what I do is I take my chimney over here, right here, and I will light uh, a few coals just enough to fill up the inside of that chimney. And then, I mean, yeah, the light, the, uh, not the chimney, coffee the can. And then what I do is I light up my uh, chimney, like I said, and when it get hot, I won't put no charcoal in, in the, the base of this Smoky Mountain Weber. What I do is I'll take those the hot coal and pour them in the center. If you look, I don't know if you can see, I got little holes I drill with a little drill. And what it does is, I call it the uh, modified menu method. Well, it might be the menu method, whatever. Um, and you can Google that on, uh, or YouTube that, the menu method, where you take your charcoal in the center and then you spread them, uh, uh, pour them around it and it spreads from the center out. It gives you even longer cooks. Well, that's true, however, cold weather don't care nothing about the menu method so obviously i'm putting more coal on here to light it and uh i'm not worried about the uh the menu method at this point now i just need to get the uh, charcoal burn off going and then uh we're gonna put this uh brisket back on and then cook it till about between 205 and 209 roughly what i say and then i pull it uh i'm gonna pull it slice it and then put it in a, uh, when I say slice, I'm gonna separate the point and the flat. And then I'm gonna go on about my business and wrap up the uh, the point. And then let it do what it do, y'all. So we'll be back. And as you can see, you see daylight changing real quick on me. Nothing like some hot deal quality. But anyway, uh, we'll be back, y'all. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. I decided to go ahead and separate the fat and the point, man. Uh, just pour some bris uh, beef beef broth in there, and we about to put them back on this grill. So this is my flat. Put them on, and burn in the flat, y'all. Everybody been looking for. So you see why I say if uh, I recommend getting a 22 inch grill uh, or Smoky Mountain Weber. And we're going to see what these temps come up to. I think the grill was up to about 275. I had to choke it all the way down, close two of my vents, and then uh, as you can see, that joke of flaming. Uh, I ain't worried about the charcoal smell because it's wrapped up in the four. I'm gonna let it do. It's probably gonna cook for about another four hour. Uh, it's about 7.30 now. And then uh, we'll come back. You can see. Uh, let me get it from an angle, maybe you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. It's me messing around with the brisket. Flatten the point, separate it. All right, 165, that's when you separate it. Actually, not only do you separate it 165, you, uh, you go ahead and wrap it in aluminum foil because uh, that's about enough smoke for it. You don't want to, uh, you ever had a piece of meat that was just too smoky? Well, that's because people pump wood to it and don't know how to, uh, manage a fire. And they get the, the over smoked flavor in there. Uh, generally over 160 is where it starts to become bitter. So, just keep that in mind when you're cooking, y'all. Your boy will be back in about four hours. Hey, what's up, y'all? We back, man. Got the grill. Grill. The yeah, the grill, the red bandit, that's what I'm gonna call it. Let me pull that out. Uh, no, it's time to uh, go ahead and check this dog on the temp on this, uh, this flat in the point. I bet y'all can tell which one the flat is, huh? Stick the little probe in there. See what it go up to. And the point. So if it's time to pull it, we're gonna go ahead and pull this uh point. Or oh, we're gonna need a cooler with a uh a towel. We're gonna wrap it up in the towel. Okay. And then uh we're gonna do the same thing with the uh well with this with the, the point. The flat we're gonna take and uh cut it up okay. and put in an aluminum pan. Alright. 
Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. Trying to pull this over. Y'all see how easy that was coming out? Trying to go ahead and uh, pull that joker, y'all. We'll be back. We're going to go ahead and wrap him up in the cool. And then uh, go from there. You know what time it is. Yeah. Trying to see what this uh, flat look like. Get a good picture of that. That smells good. Yeah. All right, now it's time to transfer this to, uh, ooh, somehow, that joke is breaking up. Somehow, I'm finna get it over to the cutting board. You have a better look at it. I'm gonna pull the juice off of it. But anyway, well, this is what it looked like. We're gonna go ahead and cube him up and then throw him back on there. Put him in the pan with some uh old cheap, that great value. Everybody keep that great value though. Know? And 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 wrap wrap them up in aluminum foil. Maybe put some barbecue sauce on there for about 15 minutes. They're gonna be ready. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. Alright, barbecues and barbecue heads, man. You know what time it is. Showtime! I'm about to show y'all what we got going on these ribs. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see the ribbits down there. Uh, you can see them. Them things golden brown too. We won't play around here. Look at them bones. It ain't been two hours yet. Smoking wild, smoking Mount Weber, y'all. I just put some chicken on. See my smoke coming out. Yeah. Get up. Look at the top of that after that St. Louis rib. Look at them straps. Yeah. Got lemon pepper flavor. And I got uh, my famous, uh, my famous, the, 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 the season that I bought at San Diego. We just doing it, man. Just give y'all a quick preview. You know what I'm saying? That grease popping up right now. But uh, we'll be back, man. I think I'm going to show y'all the uh, final product, man, and send y'all on y'all way instead of just giving y'all every second by second uh view uh and we're gonna go from there y'all we'll, we'll show y'all the final product and when it's done y'all we'll be back look here y'all got to show y'all these chickens mm -hmm. hit me up man if you got them skills like that look at that glow 16 thighs let me show y'all what these ribs looking like over here don't hate. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take that one out, that little piece right there. Anyway, like I said, we'll be back and show y'all the finished product, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. We better show y'all these ribs. Yeah. My baked beans, brisket, burnies, a chicken. It's about to go down, y'all. About to go to hell. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. We about to grow up. Hey, there y'all have it, man. <clears throat> it's cold out here. Rocking the real hat now. My San Francisco 49ers. You know I rock with them to the end, even though we in a, a, a terrible season. I, I know I can understand what the, the old Oka Raiders and the uh, Cleveland Brown feel like. But anyway, it is what it is. Appreciate y'all looking, man. Looking at cooking the brisket, the uh, the ribs, the riblets, the beef rib tips. Um, oh yeah, and the chicken. Yeah, man. I appreciate you watching that, man. Uh, if you got any questions? Comment below. You know I hit you back, man. Within I try to do 24 hours, man. But you know I, I stay busy, as you can see, doing something. Um, but hit me up, man. I answer your questions. I answer any and all questions, man. No matter how crazy you think it is, it 
if you don't know the answer to it, then that means somebody else somewhere else may not know it. So hit me up, man. Ask me no questions. But before I go, I'm going to tell you what I put on that brisket. SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, I come back with the Montreal seasoning, steak seasoning on top of it to finish it off. There you go. That's the hidden secret to an uh, uh, awesome brisket. Um, on my chicken, what did I put on that? Oh, man. I use my typical seasoning for that where you use the... Uh, the, uh, the seasoning, if you go back to my video in San Diego, I use that, the seasoning I got from there, and I mix it with uh, this barbecue seasoning that I get from, damn, the warehouse, uh, Home De Restaurant Depot, Restaurant Depot, barbecue season from there. So you mix them two together, you don't need to do nothing else. Uh, what else I got? Ribs? Oh, I, on one rib, I season uh, uh, with John Henry's pecan rub. Love that and some nature seasoning. Just mix that up and then mustard it down. And then uh my father in law he did his thing on his. Pretty sure he'll get his secret. You gotta take you gotta take that secret to the grave over there. He ain't, he ain't gonna get it over there. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna catch it one day slipping in the in the, in the kitchen. You're gonna get that one. But uh yeah. Just out here having fun, man. Um doing what we do. Till next time, this your boy Mr. B. Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos, I'll let your boy